right, guys. Big deal here. Bold is back, and bold is beautiful. Uh, we have bold coming to Cleveland, Ohio, uh, in Northeast Ohio, rather, uh, for the first time in person in a long time uh, because of this uh, pesky little thing called a pandemic. So we are thrilled to have it back starting Wednesday, January 19th. Go ahead and put a pin in your calendar right now. It is going to be most Wednesdays from the 19th of January until the 16th of March. So a little bit about Bold before we hear from some of our Bold graduates. Bold is one of the pinnacle training and coaching programs that Keller Williams has to offer with emphasis on accountability, skill building, uh, scripts, using the right words, uh, some, you know, a little dash of neuro-linguistic programming, as they call it, uh, practice and training around negotiation, building systems, uh, and ultimately growing your business. Um, for those who have participated in bold, and I'm looking at some head nods as I rattled off what goes into bold, uh, it marks uh, a huge moment and huge opportunity in your business to be a part of a cohort and grow through mutual accountability uh, and shared goals and consistent practice. Uh, so you're going to be hearing a lot more about bold in the coming uh, months as we lead up to this January 19th launch. It's going to be huge uh, to have it back. We will be at Michael's Woodside Event Center uh, in Broadview Heights, a nice central location for all of our agents uh, throughout Northeast Ohio. So we're very excited about that experience. But why hear it from me when you can hear from uh, a couple of guys who have spent some time in the bold room uh, who can tell us a little bit about um, their experience. So I am going to go ahead and pin Jake Lozier. Whoops, no, not thank you yet. Uh, Jake Lozier and Mike Arco uh, to the big board here. Maybe I need to spotlight you, Mike, I think. I'm going to spotlight Jake. And then I'm going to spotlight. Okay, so you're both spotlit now. So we have Mike Arco and Jake Lozier to talk to us a little bit today about their experiences. You heard me singing Mike's praises earlier in the call. Um, and then for those of you who don't know or haven't met, Jake Lozier is our operating principal, uh, our fearless leader for the organization. Uh, and so want to kick it off um, with both of you guys and just ask that you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your time in real estate and then tell us how many times you've done bold. Uh, so we'll start with you, uh, Mike, as you're on the left side of my screen. Cool. Uh, yeah. So Mike Arco, I am three times bold. Um, I started real estate back. It's been almost three years now. So February, 2019, um, my first time doing bold was either that March or April. So I jumped right into it. Um, but yeah, been in the business three years, uh, I've been able to grow year over year. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Mike, real quick, uh, you know, as you have, you mentioned you've done bold three times, uh, you know, but as you look ahead to your, your third full year in the industry, you setting some pretty big goals for next year. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Yeah. I know uh, we, we talked after the business planning clinic to, to firm some of those up is, is a training like bold? Is it in the equation for, uh, for your success path? Yeah, it has to be. Um, there's so many different things you can get out of bold, which is great. It's not, it's, it's really like a one size fits all, whatever you're looking to get out of it, you can get out of it. Um, starting out in my career, starting out uh, back in 2019, there was there was something specific I needed out of Bold, and I got that, and that's what led me to where I am. Um, this time around, um, Bold is is going to help me with growth. Instead of building a foundation, it's going to be helping me with growth. Um, that's the great thing about it. Whatever it is that you're looking to get out of it, you can get out of it. 
Love that. I love that. Well, let's throw it over to Jake Lozier. Jake, tell us a little bit, bit about yourself, how long you've been in real estate, and uh, how many times bold? Sure. Um, so I've been in real estate um, 17 years, going on 17 years, and um, you know, started my career a uh, very different person, much less polished uh, than Mike um, over there. Um, you wouldn't <laughs> believe it. And uh, I've actually taken bowl, I think, 14 times. Um, once I got a taste of it, you know, I was back year over year over year, did it twice a couple times. Um, and it, you know, for me, the, the biggest thing, um, you know, like Chris was saying about, um, you know, getting over self-doubt and believing in yourself and positive mental attitude, uh, that was just something that I was craving, you know, I mean, we all think we're, we're good at some things and then we doubt ourselves on other things. And it's, it's making the choice to push past that, um, that really amounts to, to, you know, monumental growth, um, in your personal life, um, in your business. I mean, anything you want to do, uh, starts with that foundation. And, and that's, I think if, if you haven't taken bold, it's the number one thing you should be doing. If you've only taken it once or twice, you should take it and take it and take it and take it um, until you you get to a place you want to be. Yeah, I think a, a pr pretty amazing, uh, you know, to have even b both you guys on the screen, but to see, you know, somebody with the level of experience that you have, Jake, that is still investing in that opportunity um, at this point in your career you know, as a leader of our company, as the leader of a team, and then, you know, just to know that that's impactful to you at your stage. And then also, Mike, um, as you are hitting that hockey stick moment with growth inside of your business, um, that it's both there. To, to someone who isn't familiar with Bold, right? And, you know, it's, uh, that is, uh, is feeling like we're just saying this word a lot, but not really defining it. How do you describe the experience? Uh, what's the impact that it has on your business? Mike, you want to go? Um, yeah. So for someone who hasn't experienced, not only has it changed my business and it's, I remember being on this team meeting right before I did bold the first time, right when I started wondering if I should do it or not. And I heard so many agents or a few different agents say, Oh, it changed my life. And I'm thinking, well, that's just a cliche. Um, but I think after step one, where I was at my, in that point in my life, debating a big time career change. Um, I walked out of that uh, event center, a completely different person. Um, it, it, it just, from a mindset perspective, it put me in such a better place. Um, it helped me believe that if I want to, if I want to accomplish my goals, um, leave my job that I wasn't happy at, um, you know, live the life that I want to live. It's all right there in front of me and it's all possible. Now it wasn't an empty promise. They taught me right away. You got to work for it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a grind, um, but it's there and it's your choice if you want to get it or not. Um, there was one exercise. I think that they, they talked about door knocking and it was, I don't like door knocking. I really don't do any door knocking, but the, 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 the example that he made was really eye opening. Um, he said, if there, if you, uh, it was Scott Toombs, he said, if there was a hundred dollar bill on every single door that you went and knocked on, would you do it? And it's a good metaphor because I, you know, thought of that just in a sense of making phone calls. Um, and that's how I've grown. My business has been by prospecting and making, making these, um, you know, cold calls and, and, um, database calls and, and all that. But it's like, if you knew that each call you made, you were going to make $50, would you do that? Absolutely. It's just, it's all about mindset. Um, you know, just starting off, it's all about mindset. And it really, if you, if, if, if you have a life that you, that you want, that you envision, it helps you realize it is out there for you. You have to go get it and you have to work for it. So. That's is, that is powerful, Jake. You probably should have gone first. <laughs> that's okay um yeah the only thing i i would add to that i mean everything um mike said is is accurate i think the what really separates 
bold from a lot of the amazing trainings that we have here is that, um, you know, the trainings are, you know, followed by action steps and followed by accountability. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, you know, everybody knows this, we go into this training and we take all these great notes and it's so fantastic. And then we go home and we get, you know, calls and this deal's falling apart and we forget about, you know, following up on the action items and doing the stuff. Whereas bold, you know, it, that accountability, you're forced to do it. And, you know, that's a little intimidating and it's necessary to get you to a different place. You know, they say, um, do what you've always done and get what, you, you know, you've always gotten. So, um, you know, you, you go in, um, the stage is set, you know, you get amazing content and then they tell you what to do, you do it and then you get the results, you know, and then you're celebrated and then you build on that and build on that and you turn around at the end of the program and, you know, you're, you're killing it. So um, it's just the full package and yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I think, you know, we were really specific about the timing for this program as well. When you think about everything that will go into the bold experience, which is making a number of contacts each week, polishing up a listing presentation, buyer intake, every single piece of your business is going to get leveled up throughout the bold experience. And all of the work that you do throughout Bold will crash like a tidal wave into spring market where we can take a ton of territory, right? Uh, a, a Bold as a, as a lead in to uh, our biggest time of year as realtors uh, can be incredibly impactful. Thinking about the impact, uh, a two part question for each of you. Biggest change or impact that you saw on your business, right? Like, oh, I got confident around listings or whatever. And then biggest change or impact that you saw in yourself um, personally. Sure. I'll go first this time. Um, the, the biggest thing for me, and, you know, many of you might be experiencing this too, you know, you get to a place in your business and it feels like, you know, you're banging your head up against the wall, like you're you know, you have some success and then, you know, you take one step forward and then two steps back and you just don't, you know, you feel like you're working hard and you feel like you're doing what you should be doing. And, you know, those results just aren't coming at a level that you need them to, to feel free and successful and, you know, um, empowered. And after I went to Bold and after, and I, I really, I mean, I'll, talk mindset all day long because I really embraced it. Um, and I wrote down my goals and I said my affirmations and, you know, after two or three bolds, I turned around and like the goals that I had written down that I thought were so crazy and so far off, I was achieving those goals, you know? So it, if you, if you believe in it and you do the work, it, it'll happen automatically, you know, it's, it's, so, I mean, that was it, probably the single biggest reason for me for having a breakthrough. Um, and then uh, personally, I mean, you know, you can, you can use these tools for anything in your life. Um, I remember coming home from, I was flying home from family reunion actually. And I wrote me and my wife were having some rocky times and I wrote out like a business plan for our relationship <laughs> because I was, you know, so focused on goals and like watching like the success of these goals being realized. And of course I came home and she like, wouldn't even look at it, but um, <laughs> you know, just, just believing that you can, you can take those lessons and tools and, you know, set goals for, you know, relationships, finance, you know, anything you want. Um, and, and it works. So I love that, Mike. So what has it done for me business wise? And then personally, is that the question? That's the question, my friend. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, it kickstarted my entire business. Um, I think I had four deals within three months, um, of getting started and I, give a lot of credit to bold, you know, from that, um, you know, it's always a good, I think, you know, Jake's done it a, a way more than I have. He's been licensed a lot longer than I have, but like, if you can take, you got to keep doing it because 
you're always going to get something more out of it. Um, you know, each time you do it. Um, and I mean, I, I could talk about both for hours, but uh, yeah, and it, you know, it always reminds me of what it is that I should be doing if I'm not doing what I should be doing. Um, I go back to bold laws. If I'm, even if I'm not doing bold, like almost weekly and like think <laughs> about different bold laws. Um, and that kind of like transitions into like what it's done for me personally. Um, I give bold laws to my family members. I give them to my friends if they're having a bad day or a bad week. Um, you know, my, I think it was la last year, my aunt, uh, she got COVID and she was really sick and, you know, she wasn't in the hospital. She, she was, and she was really, really nervous though. And was just terrified that something bad was going to happen to her. And I shared, I shared the, the, there's the, the purple PDF out there that has all the bold laws on it. And I shared that with her. I said, just read through some of them. So I'm not, you know, a lot of them, some of them have to do with real estate, but a lot of them have to do with life and just, Think about one or two each day and, and, and give yourself um, something positive to think about. And, and I mean, it's a lot, of, a lot of it, it's just about having a positive mindset. And what that's done for me has just transformed my entire life. I've grown into, um, I've grown into a better husband, a great father, because of the discipline that you get in this class and what you take away from it, not necessarily what you're getting um, while you're there, but what you take out of it. Um, I, I haven't done bold in two years now. Um, and I, I still look at the bold loss probably every single week. And it, it, it helps me get through, um, you know, tough times or a bad deal or uh, an argument with my wife or, or a friend or my family or whatever. Um, it's just, it's a life-changing uh, experience as cliche as it sounds. Um, it's the truth. I'm not the person that will, will stand in front of a lot of people and, and say, um, you know, things like that, but it really is. I mean, it's, it's done so much for me and my wife will even attest to that. So <laughs> we should have got her on here this morning. Right, well, right. She's, she's, <laughs> she's cheap. And she even asked me the other day, when's the next bold? Like, I think you, yeah. I think it's time for you to to, to go to bold. I said, oh, it's actually coming up soon. So, yeah, you know, I think you, you have a great story because you actually took bold, enjoyed it so much. You took it in Columbus almost yeah. the day after. So you drove two hours each way, one day a week for two months to participate in something that you had participated in no less than a year ago. Correct. Yeah, I did that. Well, so I guys, just every, gone everybody take that into account. Think about how busy you are as a real estate agent, how much you run around, how hard it would be to find the time not only the time, but then an extra four hours on those days to go get this goodness. I mean, that is a huge, huge uh, uh, testament to how impactful this program can be. And, and I will say, and I'm not trying to downplay that at all, but I, that's right when I started full time, wasn't as busy as I was now, um, <laughs> but it was, I just started full time. So I said, I need something that's going to, you know, it, I saw what it did for me. Um, you know, four or five months ago, I need that same boost of energy again. So I went down to Columbus every week and, and it sure gave me that. That's huge. That's huge. Well, guys, I just dropped the, uh, the bold laws into the chat. So for anybody who's wondering what either of these guys referenced when they said bold laws, uh, there they have it. And so I want you to bring us home and we'll close out the meeting with what are your, what is, what is your favorite bold law? What's your go-to What's your jam on the bold law front? All of them. <laughs> no, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need one from each of you. Which focus on expands. Yeah. And that can be good or bad. You know, it doesn't doesn't really matter if you're focusing on failures, if you're focusing on what you think you can't do, you're gonna keep not achieving what you want. If you focus on you know, what's possible and get clarity on it. There's another one, clarity is power, but um, <laughs> it makes all the difference. And, and you're not even, you know, mindful of it until you are, and then you can be purposeful about making sure it's positive. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mike? I like that one too. Um, my second would probably be um, don't compare your insides to other people's outsides. Um, that's really 
important, especially to someone just starting off. This is a very tough business. Um, don't compare yourselves to the top agents in the office that you see selling 10, 15 houses a month. Um, success is, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's simple, not easy. There's another one. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a tough business that we're in. But if you do what you're supposed to do, you will get there. And it does take time. So be patient and don't, um, don't compare your insides to other people's outsides, because a lot of times what people are painting, the picture that they're painting, isn't the truth. Um, what they're putting out there on, on, you know, the social medias of the world, it's, it's all fluff. Um, so, you know, um, just folk, what you focus on expands, just, uh, you know, trust the process, work hard. Um, the rest of it will figure itself out. If you, if you, if you work hard and be a good person, the rest of it will figure itself out. So. Well, I love that. Thank you both for, mm -hmm. uh, for sharing with us this morning team. We're going to be hearing from some more folks, uh, who are, are bold graduates. We're going to get our bold coach, uh, Tammy J on the line in the coming weeks. And, um, and we're going to make sure that anybody and everybody who's interested in this opportunity gets a chance to take advantage of it. Guys, if you are interested in this opportunity, you are interested in participating in bold in January, um, you know, signups will be released real, uh, real, real soon within the next 30 days. Um, but if you are interested, uh, you know, get to the front of the find out first list, drop me a note. Let me know. We'll get you some more details. Um, but know that this is uh, this is a, this is a, a program that creates a major inflection point in a lot of people's careers. Whether you want to accelerate uh, as a new agent, whether you want to accelerate as somebody who feels like they've plateaued, or if you're in a position where you're now going to accelerate by growing your team and a business, uh, all of those things all covered uh, throughout this. So. Uh, please let us know if you're interested and we will be bringing a lot more to bear over the next couple months as we work up to this.